are learning to worship God. In today's lesson, hi friends, we're learning to worship God and what it means to have a relationship with him, right? Not only does he love it when we pray, but he also wants us to be able to hear him when he's trying to talk to us. But before we get to today's lesson, let's sing the unit verse. Come, let us worship God, worship God, worship God. Come, let us worship God. Psalm 95, 6. Can you do that? Of course you can. Let's do it again. Come, let us worship God, worship God, worship God. Come, let us worship God. Psalm 95, 6. Bravo! Bravo! Clap for yourself! You did awesome! And the weekly verse is, I will teach you the way to go. Psalm 32.8. And I have another video with an exercise that you can learn that with, okay? But remember, come let us worship God, worship God, worship God. Come, let us worship God. Psalm 95, 6. Yay! Okay, friends, we're learning about Samuel in the tabernacle. That's right. Here is Samuel, little boy, and the mother. The mother who knew and prayed for Samuel to work for God at the very beginning. So parents, this is based on 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verse 24 through 28, and then chapter 2, 18 through 26, and then chapter 3. So open your books, kiddos, either now or afterwards, and see if you can find 1 Samuel in all of those chapters. That's what this is all based out of. So Samuel's mother prayed for Samuel before he was born. In her prayer, she wanted to Samuel to work for God. Samuel was a very young boy, as you could tell right here. When his mother took him to go work in a tabernacle in Shiloh. And this is what a tabernacle looks like. It's a church. A church from a long time ago. <laughs> Samuel's mother came to see him every year and brought him a new robe to wear every time. Samuel continued to grow, and God was so pleased with him. The people of Israel also liked Samuel. God called his name. Wait, wait. One night, when Samuel was sleeping, he was sleeping in the tabernacle, Samuel called his name. I mean, God called his name. Samuel. Then, God called Samuel three times. Samuel. 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 Samuel thought Eli was calling his name. The fourth time God called him, Eli had to go tell him. So Eli the priest helped Samuel to know that God was calling him because God had some important things to share with Samuel. Samuel became a prophet and told the people what God wanted him, what God wanted them to know. And he continued to grow and learn about God. All the people knew that Samuel was a prophet because Samuel became very good at listening to God. And so he was able to share God's word. Isn't that awesome, friends? This is the mother. And this is young Samuel in the tabernacle. And remember, tabernacle is what? That's right. It's a church. Good job, friends. Right here behind me, I have at my church. 
And at my church, what do we do? Like Samuel did. We learn about God, right? Jesus is a big part of that story. We sing, we sing and worship God and we thank him for all his blessings and all he has done for us, right? And if you haven't gone to big church with your family, you can. You can do it this Sunday if you attend church. At church, we also pray for others. We do. If you remember, we, used, we would pray after the Bible story, and then we would pray again at snack time. Another thing we do at church is what? We give, we donate, and we give to help others. Donate food, clothing, money. Those are the things we get to do at church. So, I encourage you to open up your Bibles and read the story. Be like Samuel. Have that desire to learn about God in his word, worship him, and pray, and see what he's trying to tell you through gospel and worship. Bye, friends. Hope you enjoyed it.